Okay, the convolution theorem tells us that the Laplace transform of the convolution of f of g is a product of the Laplace transform of f and the Laplace transform of g. Now, if your g of t function is identically equal to 1, then its Laplace transform is 1 over s. So Laplace transform of the convolution of f with g is Laplace transform of f times Laplace transform of g, which is 1 over s. So we write that as a Laplace transform of f over s. Now, also, of course, the Laplace transform of f with g is the Laplace transform of the integral that represents the convolution. And that's the integral, uh, we'll say, of f of tau. g of t minus tau d tau. Well, g of t minus tau is just 1, because g is identically 1. So this is a Laplace transform of the integral from 0 to t of f of tau d tau. And that's equal to the plus transform of f divided by s. Now, if f happens to be a function of which we know the Laplace transform, then we can find this integral just by inverse transforming L of f over s. Well, it, if f has a transform uh, which divided by s uh, is inverse transformable, then we can evaluate the inverse transform of L of f over s by just doing this integral. Okay, so if our function, yeah, if we end up solving a differential equation, we have Laplace transform of some function divided by s. Rather than resorting to partial fractions, we just resort to this integral. It's a neat little trick.